Hey there guys, this is Obsidian Chill. Got another video for you today. And for this one, we're looking at the Angelic Drone, which was the free reward, a part of Extra Life, for reading the donation goal. So with the Angelic Drone, we got the free version, which was the Tier 1. So this is the one that everyone got, would have got for free. Uh, part of their, all you have to do is go to the uh, Reclaim Rewards, and you'll get that. Now there are two other versions, which is going to be the Angelic, Angelic Drone Tier 2 for 400 source marks, and the Angelic Drone Tier 3 for 700 source marks. As you can see, it doesn't require anything to unlock it, like the previous ones for headlines, uh, you, as long as you have access to the Tier 1 and you've earned it, not part of the Extra Life Rewards, then you can access the Tier 2 and Tier 3. So, I'm going to show you what the drone looks like in combat, and then show you the numbers to see if it's worth you getting the Tier 2 and Tier 3s. So, stay tuned. Okay, so welcome to the number side of the video because I know you all appreciate those spreadsheets. Uh, so we're looking at the angelic drone testing. Everything is the same baseline in terms of five parsers at CR339, so every, everything is the exact same. Uh, on AOE first, because AOE and single target, the tier one, which is what we got free, it's a top two, slightly ahead of Controlled Star, slightly behind Vampire Vat. Uh, the tier two AOE, it is the best option. So if you can only afford that from the vendor, then you can buy a tier two. But in terms of tier three, it does fall slightly behind the top three with Freeze Drone, Mother Box, and Controlled Starro. Freeze Drone, you're not going to have, well, some you may not have access to because that's a survival mode trinket. But uh, Mother Box, plenty of you will. Same with Controlled Starro, plenty of you will. So it's pretty much tied with Father Box. I mean, that's it's literally 100 damage difference almost. Uh, so it's really not, I'm not, uh, we're not looking at like wide margins of damage differences. I mean, that's still 8,000 there. It was up by 2,000 there, down by 7,000 there, roughly. So, I mean, it's all within like 10k damage. But that's where the Angelic Drone ranks. And I should point out, the Tier 2 and Tier 3 are the ones you'd have to buy from the vendor. So if you did want that Tier 3 style, you have to pay for it. Or if you just want the free one, just so you can have the pet, then that's there. In terms of single target... Top three, tier two would be top four. Same thing, nothing large will be behind. 6k there, uh, 4k there roughly. And the, it does, on the tier three, does fall below, uh, not really acceptable. It's more like middle of the pack stuff. So, I mean, that's a 6k difference, 7k, 10k, 12k difference from Seahorse. So the Angelic Drones is certainly something you don't want to use on single target if you can avoid it. But for AoE... I mean, it's not that bad. It's the best one for the tier two, and then tier three. It's top three, but technically, um, I mean, top four, but technically top three because not everyone's going to have access to freeze drone. But that's where the angelic drone ranks. So, take care, guys. We'll see you in the next video.